I'm sure you've seen some retro style postcards just like these and it's not hard to see why because retro is in and it doesn't seem to be going anywhere. And so today we're going to be making our own retro illustrative postcard design using Kittle, which by the way you can sign up for free using the link down in the description. I'm going to go over how to find the right illustrations, how to find a retro style color scheme, how to add texture and make your postcard look like it's weather, how to transform text in the right way, and then how to export your file so that it's ready for printing. So let's get started, but real quick, do me a favor and hit that red subscribe button so you don't miss any of the upcoming tutorials here on the channel. Let's get started. I have a color palette I have already created right here. And by the way, we have a retro color palette video I'll link in the cards for you. So let's get started by clicking the postcard setting here in the settings. And then I'll show you why I dragged those colors down there below. You can't see them right now, but that's okay. So let's go to elements. I'm gonna add some basic squares because we are going to create a light lighthouse bay area that is the kind of graphic that we're going for and so we need two colored squares and because I put all of those colors down below if I click object color boom there's all of my document colors then I can click the background color and I can make it a lighter color I can go through and click any color I want because those document colors are down below in that palette that I made so then what we want to do is type in lighthouse up here in the elements because we are making a lighthouse style graphic so then I can drag this in and start creating it here on the horizon to make it look like it's sitting on a bay right we are creating a bay with a lighthouse so then I can type in clouds and I can put some elements in the sky because I think that would be really cool and it just creates this whole ambiance this whole setting of a water based area with a lighthouse there on the rocks it'd be really really cool and so we're just creating a couple of different style uh, clouds now we also have these hatched line uh, clouds but they look kind of like waves and so you can use different elements maybe just see what you can do see what you can find to use elements that might be for one thing in a different way so these kind of look like little ripples in the water so i think that's really cool and i'm going to add a couple of those that look like highlights then we can type in sun and we can find a sun that is going to work. I like this one that's kind of radial. It's got all of these different circles and I can click the right color. I want it as this brighter yellow here and then I can size it and position it where I want to. And that is looking like we have a good layout to start messing with type. So now we can put type in front of this. If you hit W, by the way, you'll see your entire board and I want to group this all together as the background. So if I can go over to layers, you can see it's grouped and then I can double click and I can rename it. You can also lock your layers from the layers panel as well. So now I have background, boom, that's ready to go and we can add some type here. So then we're gonna type in Lighthouse because that's where we are sending this postcard from, Lighthouse Bay. And then of course we need to pick a different color because black isn't gonna really work. I like this yellow, that's the same color as the sun. And then we can decide what font choice we want. So I like this more condensed font here. And I think this is really gonna work for this retro style card, the sans serif font here. And then what we can do is we can create an effect with just a click. So if I hit this rise transformation, boom it is already looking really groovy it is looking really retro and it just fits right because we were making this kind of watery uh, wavy style design and so it really fits with this aesthetic and then we can do whatever we need to we can make it bigger we can change the rise effect or we can go and start adding some details to our type so then if i go over here to the effects panel i can hit this 3d shadow this detail 3d shadow and i can use these sliders to move it wherever i want to i can move the shadow away I can even make it bigger and I can change the color. So here I'll go back to my document colors and I'll make it that lighter yellow. And then I will make the inline shadow a different color, something like this brownish purple right here. And then I can go down to decoration and if I hit this color cut fading effect right here, I can choose a different color and boom, it's just that simple. I can now play with these different sliders to make it as weighty as I want or if I want it to be thinner, I can do that. And I can also change the distance of how far down it goes on the type. So I'm thinking like that looks pretty good. And now we can get started with the rest of our layout. Hey, real quick, if you're getting value out of this retro postcard tutorial, let me know by hitting the thumbs up button Button and that red subscribe button. Then let me know in the comments, do you send postcards? I think maybe over my whole life, I've maybe sent and received five postcards, but let me know, are you a postcard sender? Because if so, I would love to know. Hit me up down in the comments 
and let's get back to the tutorial. So if we hit the T button, the T is the quick button for adding text. We're gonna hit greetings from, and we're gonna get started with our subtext. So I'm gonna pick this more handwritten style font, change the color to that purple. And then if I hit wave, I can use all these little anchor points, these little nodes to get it right where I want it. I have complete control over how I want the text to be warped. Then what I'm gonna do is go into glyphs. I'm gonna add this dash here. And a really cool trick is that if I go over and I hit the distort feature because this is type I can distort this line to make it even longer fatter whatever I want it to and it still retains that kind of cool handwritten effect because it is a glyph from this font it is a dash here and so once I feel like that is where I want it we can move on with the rest of our layout so this is looking pretty good and now what we need to do is finish out Bay so Lighthouse Bay again that's where we're writing from so I'm gonna type Bay and then what we're gonna actually do is pick a different font this modern hand sans is a variable font and so I can increase the value and make it a lot wider a lot bolder a lot fatter so that's what we want for this I think it's playing really nicely again with the other condensed sans serif font that we have so I'm gonna use this wave effect here and I'm gonna play with my sizing and my placing to get it right here I want it cradled right there below the bottom of house there. Now we're gonna take some effects off of this because we don't need it as intense as how Lighthouse is. So we're gonna take some of these effects off and just use some basic colors and some basic stroke because once we start applying some texture, it's gonna stand out as, as well. And so we're gonna add some more illustration too. So it's gonna look pretty nice. So once we feel like we have the text where we need it, we can do some tweaking, some minor tweaking to make sure that it's cradled right there below house in lighthouse. And I'm thinking this is looking pretty nice just like this. So we can go over to the elements. And like I mentioned, we're gonna add a little graphic interest here. So if I type in beach, we can go through these and find one that we like. Now, I think that this person on the jet ski is going to work really nice. I like how the illustration is. It already looks super retro, super cool like this. Now I can play with my colors and get it exactly how I want to. Now, we're gonna add some little water splotches. So if I add water, a whole bunch of stuff is gonna come up and then we can find something that we think fits well. So this is gonna work. I'm just gonna move it around. I'm gonna change the color and then we are going to duplicate it, put it over there on the other side, put it behind the text and it just adds a little bit more interest. Uh, just like this right here underneath the jet ski, it looks like water's coming up from it and I think that looks really, really cool. So now we can start playing with texture here and you can go through and you can pick different kind of paper textures. You can pick different grain textures. I think this one, it looks really cool. It already looks super retro, which is exactly what we want. And now we can change the opacity. We can release that texture, go over here, lock it because we don't want it to move. We'll add, we'll name this texture here. And then I can add another texture on top of it, which is really cool. Cause then you can start playing with blending modes and make it look different. So if I hit overlay and mess with my opacity, it looks super faded and retro, which is exactly the style that we want. And you can repeat that as many times as you want. You might get a little crazy with it. I think for now, we're just gonna go with two and that's exactly how we want it. And now you could probably stay with how this looks, but I'm gonna add a border. I'm gonna take it just a little bit further and show you how you can make it stand out even further. So if I add this block here, just a basic shape, a basic rectangle, I'm gonna go over here and I'm gonna give it a border weight and then I'm gonna take the object color off. I'm gonna take the fill off and then I'm gonna change this to a different color. So I could make it this lighter yellow, I could make it this beige, I could make it this orange, whatever it is. And I think that makes it stand out. So here is our completed retro illustration style postcard completely done in Kittle and ready to go. Well, that's all for this video, but be sure to check out the other videos. Hit this playlist right here, and it's going to take you to a full playlist with retro style strategies and advice. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel, and that way you're not going to miss any of the upcoming videos that we release here on the channel. Thanks for watching, and until the next one, create magic.